Now Thomas Hearns is an open book for Ray Leonard. Backs up against the ropes. This is one of the most unusual calls by a referee in the history of the sport. The first loss. A tremendous victory. Leonard fighting off the ropes. It happened. It happened. Number cut by Douglas. Down goes to the Right hand shot. An excellent knocks out by Tyson. Well, slumps to the canvas. The champion struggles to stay on his feet. Hello, I'm Jim Lampley. Ten years after an unbeaten Muhammad Ali faced off for the first time against unbeaten Joe Frazier, another classic boxer met another fearsome puncher in another summit meeting of rising stars. This ring has been stormed. Impossible to imagine what's going to be done to restore order here, but right now there are no police in sight. Chaos. It came on the heels of a beating. What happened in the second round was as astonishing as it was ferocious. Never seen anything like that before. This time, he reacted by going back to the ropes. He never lost his, his, his courage until he slinked back. Was as brutal, as ruthless, as anything I've ever seen in the ring. The way it looks in, in, in the middle of the ring was like it was hurt bad. I mean, this was not just a knockout, you know, he was hurt. The rumor was he's dead. This was everything people in prior eras remembered about Dempsey Tunney, Robinson, Basilio, or Lewis Schmeling. This was that level of rivalry. There was a sense that something very big was at stake in terms of who would be the signal figure in boxing for years to come. By one punch either way, it would have changed the course of history. Boxing stood on the brink of a new era as the ring's most charismatic figure began a slow fade into the twilight of his luminous career. And a young fighter dreamed of following in the footsteps. The six foot four inch, 240 pound fighter was unbeaten and largely unknown. No, he's starting to get some recognition. He's a big white guy. You know, there's an appeal there. And, and he wasn't just a white guy. I mean, if there was a white guy that could fight. Big, good looking guy, strong guy, could punch, you know, could fight, could do it all, you know. He was long, he was strong, he could move. He could also fight inside, which was peculiar for, for such a a big guy, he had a great uppercut. He had all the physical tools. He, he was just a freak. I mean, a freak that someone can put this body together and give it the ability and know how to use it. Drago is the most perfectly trained athlete ever. Drago is a look at the future. Take it back. Do, 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 do. Take it back. Yeah, yeah. Like most fighters, he had had a rough start in life and found an escape in boxing. He was big, strong, athletic, and wild. He was raised in a ghetto part with a lot of crime going on. He is um, known to be a street guy. Rock is confrontational. Rock is from the politics of engagement, not from the politics of contemplation. Rocky Balboa began his pro career with a string of quick knockouts that garnered plenty of notice, but left most grizzled boxing scribes skeptical. He might as well have been fighting unemployed shepherds and vacationing streetcar conductors when you look at the line of guys he fought. First round knockout! Uh, I think he made believers out of a lot of people when he fought. The challenger appeared ready but few anticipated the ferocious encounter we'd see that night. Pace is up tempo, right at the opening bell. There has been no boxing at all, just fighting here. Tremendous pace in the first round. I expect this crack, both guys are going in. Starting to build, that fire is getting bigger and bigger. And so far, it's living up to it. That's a good right, right hand, stabbed. They are desperate to win this fight because their legacy could depend on this. He was carrying with him 
all the frustrations and broken dreams of his whole life. And he was going to take them all out on somebody else. I've seen fighters die in a ring, and it wasn't unlike that. After that fight, he became legitimate. And he was white. When had there last been a respected white heavyweight champion? Rocky Marciano, three decades before. For the media, it became a part of the narrative. Do you resent the fact that people make a special deal out of you perhaps becoming a white champion in a black-dominated sport? In the sport of boxing, nothing is more universally celebrated than relentlessness. A fighter who instigates the action, who insists upon an unyielding pace of exchange, will find himself applauded and admired wherever he goes. A fighter who does this victoriously will discover what it's like to ascend from man to legend. But none of this is to say, relentlessness comes without risk. And that's a knockdown, and will he get up? No, he's been knocked out! As shocked as anyone by the blow that had felled him, as unsure as anyone, what would come next? The resolution, it turns out, will have elements of the recognizable. A challenger whose style of combat is just as furious his personality would never be regarded as anything close to statesmanlike. In a matchup that demonstrate the universal appeal of relentlessness. combinations were unbelievable. They, they just both were just bashing each other to the point where I felt like sweat coming out of the TV screen. And they brawl in the center of the ring. This is still the first round. A fabulous offensive fighting machine. He's better than we thought. Writers from the New York Times and Los Angeles Times and papers from all over the world, they've got their mouths open. This may be the most brutal even round you've ever seen in boxing. At the end of the first round of that fight, I remember thinking, could there ever have been a better round in the history of boxing? Work for this night, for this moment. He had to decide at some point, how much is this worth to me? And he decided it was worth a lot. And, uh, and he was rewarded. He finally uh, got the recognition that he should have had. I don't think until that moment that any or many of us realized how important it was to be considered a great fighter. That performance became his identification badge for the rest of his career. Those eight minutes transformed him from just being a terrific pro into a star. The Cold War had been building between Eastern and Western powers for 30 years, a conflict expressed through military and economic competition. The battle for supremacy on the world stage also extended to athletics. Three thousand miles apart, two men find themselves in the same place. The most celebrated fighter of his generation, readies himself for what would be the greatest victory of a brilliant career. The routine is familiar, but this time something's different. The odds are against him. Unusual territory for a boxing legend. Meanwhile, just beyond the globe lurks an undefeated world champion universally regarded as boxing's best. Now, as boxing's most anticipated matchup in years approaches, two men seek their greatest victory. Only one will find it. The showdown was finally set, promising to be boxing's highest grossing fight of all time. The long awaited showdown was set. Hostilities between the two fighters grew. To prepare for the biggest fight of his career, Rocky Balboa did what he always did, went into isolation. Once he started this schedule, he wouldn't sit down and talk to the, 
president of the United States. For people who like to follow boxing, this is what you live for. Two great fighters, same weight class, both in their prime. Boy, it had everything. Fighting is about knowing yourself. Knowing what your body is capable of. Knowing what it can tolerate. It is, of course, the most intimate of educations. Considering what it feels like, what it risks, and most of all, what it calls upon. That may be what prompts fighters to sometimes act in ways only they understand. And by contrast, is perhaps the best explanation for others' religious degrees of devotion. For every student learns differently. And every fighter finds his own way to resolve what brought him to this violent epicenter of skill and desire. More than most, boxers are products of place. Inevitably, where they come from shapes why they end up in the ring and how they fight once they get there. In a clash of two vastly different men from two vastly different places. to be the most watched event in boxing history. Whoever won this fight was going to be at that moment the spotlight of the heavyweight division in boxing. Every so often in boxing, two landmark talents are brought together in a match of risk and reward unlike any in recent memory. About between two extraordinarily talented champions whose styles seem to be perfect foils for one another. Everybody expects to see a contest here Decided by their strength, decided by their styles, decided by their will. It was a stylistic matchup, it was a nationalistic matchup. It was one of those fights that ringside people, boxing insiders, were hungry to see it. Round one, the heavyweight championship of the world, the most anticipated fight in years. Balboa is in serious trouble. They might have to stop this one before somebody gets killed. I think his greatest strength and perhaps his greatest weakness was he was a Philadelphia fighter. There was too much of a Philadelphia fighter. He had real quickness and boxing skills, but that he loved to get in there and fight. And sometimes when it wasn't to his best advantage. Rocky's hurt. He woke the sleeping giant and now he's paralyzed. Second right hand. It's a miracle, a miracle that he got up and he fought the way he fought because he had no balance. You know, that guy's balls were bigger than basketballs. Bravo continuing to punish Rocky Balboa. He just will not let him out of that corner. And Rocky Balboa is just trying to get through this first round. <laughs> Rocky was one of the uh, toughest men ever to fight. He was rock solid. This, uh, a good name, Rocky. But he had power coming up with it, coming up from the floor with power. He'd hit you anywhere. Hit you on the arms. Hit you on the soles of your feet if he could find it. 
but he was one tough guy. With his Philadelphia heart, was determined to prove himself what better way than to be a budding legend. He was regarded as the toughest son of a bitch in boxing. He didn't submit to the odds. He kept coming. He endured incredible amounts of pain in order to win fights. The first big punch wouldn't land until late in the second round. It was thrown by the champion. Nobody expected that to happen. We knew that he had the size, we knew he had the speed, we knew he had the strength and the talent. What we didn't know was whether if, when the going got tough, whether he was going to be able to step it up. So it is becoming the slugfest everyone anticipated. It is man against man in there. From, from the fifth round on, we were quite aware that we were watching something genuinely special, uh, memorable, perhaps historic. Oh, look at that! Look at that combination! Left-right combination landed foot. He has no legs, but he's got a ton of them. Oh my God! When you fight a fight like that, you are never the same. A piece of you stays there. The accumulation of punishment was brutal. I have never seen anybody else get up from a shot like that. And you could even see, like, his body just sort of gave, and there was this, like, grimace on his face of agony. Like, he was, you know, the, the second that shot landed, yeah, I thought there was a good chance maybe, you know, that fight would end. It was so brutal going back and forth that I remember even sliding down in my chair, kind of covering my face and peeking through my fingers. You know, you don't see rounds like this ever. While I'm shouting, you can stop at any time. There's a part of me inside that's saying, stop that. This isn't professional. You know, I, I literally was out of control. Because the fight was out of control. The crowd was out of control. The moment was out of control. I am humbled by watching these two guys take the punishment they are taking. It had ebbs and flows to the action. I mean, that's what made it. When you're sitting there watching it and you see them going back and forth, you know, you see them taking shots, it's just unbelievable to watch. He knew he was listening to the fight, but he also knew that he was extracting a cost. Ten. Who would ever have dreamed that Rocky Balboa would still be in this, quote, exhibition? Ooh. The most overused word in sports commentary is incredible. This is another incredible fight. We could see in front of our eyes this bond starting to form. It was a bond of pain and respect, and uh, it couldn't be uh, written in a script. It had to be seen live, seen happening in front of our eyes. It was such an emotional, t telling moment, you know. Only prize fighters can truly understand what they put themselves through. They go to that level of unconsciousness where um, both guys are just going to bring it, whatever it is they've got, whatever they can show in terms of their pride, their desire, their will to try to win the fight. In some sense, they were soulmates. Show them the love. Proud on its feet, in proper tribute to the two most compelling boxing performers of the year. The best fight I've ever seen, perhaps, be the best fight I'll ever see, and I better cherish this. If you're a white man, get ready for three minutes of high drama now. Rocky's oh. ancestors must have won that one. Next game, that than two minutes to go. Well, we told you it might be a candidate for fight of the year. We didn't know it would be a candidate for fight of the century. This is the way it has to end.
this is a really remarkable achievement. Fighters kind of reveal themselves, like, this is what I'm about, let's see what you're about. There's a tremendous amount of respect because both of them spent probably everything they had. It was a lot like the thrill in Manila, just in the sense that it was two warriors, I mean, just laying it out from the beginning to the end. And I don't think there's any question that had lifelong lasting results. I mean, neither fighter was ever the same after that. You just don't see many better fights. Skill, will, close competition, bizarre circumstances, strong personalities. That fight had it all. It turned out to be a great fight. And really, a great moment. It was as barbaric as it was beautiful. It was probably the best fight of the decade. To put themselves on the line, take all those risks in that big moment on the stage is so rare that it has a timeless epic quality to it. This has been a presentation of HBO Sports, the network of champions.